Hi guys, I'm Exactails and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. We are playing the Real Airlines series. We have just installed all of our turnaround services for both Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. Um, and we have a little lounge for CMA over here um, in Terminal 1. What I've also got is, I've, I've, in between episodes, I'm trying to save a little bit of money so that we can go on and build the next one. So you can see I've unlocked another tile. I still want to unlock this one before we go and expand to understand what is going to be Terminal 3 over here. But uh, for the meanwhile, we need to do a few other bits and pieces in our terminals um, just to kind of clean it up, get it there where we want it to be. Um, so one of the things that I've done is I've added a few shops and um, little food franchises over here. Hopefully that helps us make a little bit more money. Hopefully that gets people a little happier to use our airport. Um, so I think Terminal 1 is pretty much good over here. We've got the lounge. We don't have shops inside, but we've got some vending machines. We've got bathrooms. We've got um, obviously our luggage and all of our various things. It's a pretty quiet terminal, to be honest. It's probably a little bit of overkill. Uh, we are seeing a fair bit of um, queues occurring over here, but it's fairly manageable. And I want to revamp this entire area as we go into the next terminal expansion. I want to build something really proper and big over here in terms of the drop off. And so I'm going to live with this for just uh, the while. Um, thank you so much for the comments stating that there was a little issue over here. I've been able to fix that. Um, everything is generally just working pretty well. So one of the things that I feel is really missing um, in this airport at the moment is we're not properly making use of this area over here and we are not properly making use of these areas up here. So that's what I'm going to go and address in this episode. So one of the very first things I want to do is include um, another security check in check area right over here. So let's go ahead and we'll kind of shut that off. I know you guys just love me using edges for stuff like this, but I'm going to go ahead and use walls instead. <laughs> um, so let's do, uh, I think a little something like that should probably be sufficient. So that's a bit of a secure zone. I'm going to drop the secure zone in there. We don't want that to be secure zone so that we can actually um, put in place uh, a little one of these. So that actually works really well. And if we do that, oh, beautiful. That's going to be really exactly the spot where we wanted to go. There we go. So now you can actually go upstairs there. Um, some issues over there, wanting to path through there straight away. Uh, what did we do upstairs? We did very similar things over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear out the wall section right over here. Oops. Yeah, so we've got some issues now with people not finding their way. So hopefully when we put some security in here, it should be just fine. Now, are we using the big ones? No, we're not. But maybe what we could do is we could use one of the big ones over here. It just feels like such overkill, doesn't it? So if we could do something like that, we can have one big one to get people in here. That's actually not too bad. Um, similarly, we can add one small one next to it over there. So let's, uh, let's get the secure zone pushed back all the way up to, well, all the way up to there, basically. Uh, maybe not. We'll have to see about tweaking that out a little. Then we'll get one of the big ones in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to actually trim this one back a tad um, to make room for one of the small ones. Uh, where we will get um, staff to make use of that and this will not be staff. Okay, so that's kind of the idea here. Um, we probably need to hire some more people, but that's just going to be okay. So what do, what are we, what am I trying to do here? I'm going to, ah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run it there, 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 and will end it somewhere over here. So now people can nice and easily have a very long, massive queue over here. We'll get ourselves a little bit of plants going in on over here somewhere. Something reasonable like that and that, just so it looks a little nicer. This We need some more security officers. We need definitely need more secure office, security officers. So let's uh, quickly hire a few. Hire some security personnel. Oh, excellent, all good ones. Get those fours, four in here. We'll go to our terminal toggle and we will say all our new people. I like doing this manually. 
All our new people goes to uh, Terminal 2, please. Thank you. Uh, so now, I would imagine that would be enough. That would give us one extra over here and three extra over there. Probably sufficient. Yeah, only five needed over there. So now at least people can actually make their way into the terminal over here. How did we... I just want to make sure that we've got uniformity looking on this. So we'll go ahead, we'll get ourselves the kind of this flooring with that part. And we'll just kind of do a little bit of this and that's kind of this area now. So now there's access points over here. Not sure it's going to be used um, straight away, but at least there is an access point on that side. So if people are arriving over here, they can access, they can do their things. We can actually add a little bit more of this to, um, to allow to allow that but we don't really have the need for more for more planes at the moment for more yeah for more of that though maybe a little bit yeah maybe what we'll do is let's add a couple more of these guys the the manual the manual ones just a couple more um so check in medium check in uh we'll do we'll do something like one two uh oh we'll do three of them there we go three of them over there We'll make sure to get um, some of our uh, walls opened up over here so that we can run a few um, belts through there. No more belts. Belts, 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 belts over here. Give me some belts. We uh, run um, some belts through there. That's going to be awesome. We need to link, the, need to make sure to link them up as well. So that should be fine. Now let's just uh, link them up over here. Link them up over there and link them up over there. Good stuff. Okay, so now should be able to work. Hopefully that'll resolve some of these queues and waits and things like that over here. I don't quite get why we're still getting tons of messages about people not able to find their way. Oh no, what are you, what's happening? You're unable to find your way? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's pause the game just for a second. I know that's kind of not the plan. This is a secure zone that we're not actually using. Uh, let's go ahead and re... Oh, why is that? This shouldn't be, this shouldn't be staff. Huh? Is this area supposed to be staff only? Oh, if we try that, is that better? That's going to allow you to go, to go up there. For some reason, it doesn't want to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, demolish this and redo it. Sometimes sometimes that's the best thing to do, really. So let's uh, get rid of that. We'll put another one in there. And is that causing us any, any betterment? These guys just can't find their way there. Not at all. This is the thing that I... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this in the terminal? It is in the terminal. So really, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, it's completely in the terminal. It's, it really shouldn't be a problem. Don't know why why we're getting these breakable things. And as we talk about that, by the way, um, it is... Um, it is, uh, it, it, uh, from the new latest dev blog, uh, we can see that we're going to have some pathing and zone tools that's going to come out our way um, so that we can actually sort these things out ourselves going forward, presumably. Um, have we, are all of these guys finding their way somewhere or they're, okay, let's just see. Let's just have a look. No, still big problems. Can't for some reason find their way. What are you saying? Where are you trying to go? Passport control? Or is this just check-in? Oh, no, no, that's security. Looking for security. So you're looking for security, but for some reason you can't find the security? Very, very strange. Very, very strange. I might, I must say, very strange. Security is right over here. Is there a matter of us needing to trim back on this? Not sure why this is happening. Close it. So if we close it, seemingly um, it's the problem goes away and everybody keeps running over here. So it seems like a double security area is not really meant to be. So we're going to leave that in there, but I'm going to leave it closed so that at least the staff can get in here if they wanted to uh, get in here. Now, 
The other thing I wanted to do to just clean this area up a little bit and I think one such thing is we need to probably increase the size of the bathrooms or get some additional bathrooms or something like that but we also want to definitely do some lounges and things. So let me get rid of this and then I'm gonna, yeah, I can do two lounges in here. I can do two fairly nice little lounges in there and lounges will kind of be covered um, with some like edges I think. Long lounges, not that long, I don't know. Let's get a couple of windows in right over here. That's pretty cool. Um, and we wanted to do, I want to do some different flooring when we're going to lounges, something marbly and awesome. Uh, yeah, some of this is just a little overwhelming. We'll use some of these, okay? And what we'll do is, how big is this thing? 24 by 17. 12 by 17. Okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to do use one lounge there and then we're going to do something slightly different and we're going to say, well, even though I hate this stuff, uh, we're going to do the other one right over here and then I'm going to get put some hedges in there. I'm just, just going to separate them off a little. Uh, I'm going to switch that off so we can see. We'll do that. Uh, maybe something like this. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. We'll do that. And maybe something like that. Yeah, that's going to be okay. So now we've got a couple of lounge areas set up over here. That should be fine. Um, let's quickly put in some lounges. So one lounge over here. Oh, can I just uh, sort out this secure area? Just fix that, please. And we'll put in one lounge over here like so and one lounge over there like so excellent now we just need to add some stuff in there they would like us to please add some information desks um, i'm happy with that put one over there and i'm quite happy with that put one over there excellent that's that's awesome um and then we'll do our little buffet sections maybe in the back corner over here Something like that, something like that. Good stuff. We'll make sure to add some tables and seating for the people who would like to have a bite to eat. Um, if we do, if we do up against the wall, at least for some of it, we'll do a little bit of this. Uh, not sure that's going to work. Let's uh, let's do another like that, like that, and try one more. Yeah, something like that should be okay. Mm. Maybe we'll bring it in a little closer. Similarly, you can do it a little closer over there. So that there's at least a little bit of spots where you can actually have a meal. Something like that. Let's get some, some chairs in there. These ones. Nice, we'll uh, switch over to the others on the other side. Okay, we can probably do a few more over here. So let's uh, let's continue that expansion into this general area. Something up against the window over there and something like this maybe. Yeah, that should be okay. We'll do something up against the edge over there and we'll add a couple more in like that. See if that kind of works, gives us a, give us a few more chairs. Yeah, that's gonna be just fine. I do like that and now let's just put some couches and stuff in down down in here where people can like have a seat uh kind of have a chat something like that yeah i kind of like that idea we'll do like one more something like this uh, just over there that's pretty cool what we'll also do is i'm kind of tempted to just maybe do a little coffee table in there there's not going to be room for one over there okay now let's do Similarly kind of thing over here. Yeah, that's cool. I'm happy with that. Something like that. Not the, not the, not the perfect place, but it's okay. Uh, give us a couple of coffee tables, maybe the round ones. Ooh, it's not actually gonna work here. So we'll just do a little something like that over there, maybe. Uh, and that and that's okay and then we'll get some plants plants we'll finish it off with some plants 
Uh, some of these should be fine. Just in a few spots, something like that. Always have uh, plenty of plants in uh, in lounges like this. Yeah, that's cool. That's okay. That's fine. That's going to be cool. Uh, do something like this. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that spot over there can't be used for anything. Anyway, it's something like that. There we go. Lounges. Now, this lounge is going to be, we're going to need an Air Canada Express lounge. Okay, there you go. And open up for business. And this is going to be a WestJet Encore. And we're going to open you up for business as well. Um, as per what we... Yeah, as per how we do it, let's uh, let's make sure to get um, the Air Canada Express logo. Uh, let's just see what's the... Like that, we'll place it in there. And the other one is the WestJet Encore logo. Place that one in there. There we go. Nice. Now we just need to obviously make sure we've got enough staff to man it. But I think it should be fine. Uh, we'll see. At some point it'll open for business. Yeah, it should open now, to be honest. Uh, probably what I'll do is I'll just add the flooring over there, just a tad, so it just looks a little bit more uniform in that very spot. We're looking for a little bit of this. There we go, Air Canada Express on the floor over there. There's some people working over here, and immediately people are starting to use the lounge. Now what we'll do is we'll get a little bit of shops and stuff over here for the other guys. I also like to do a slightly different kind of flooring as we do that. Uh, we'll leave a little bit of a room here and then we'll just put some some areas in there. So let's uh, get ourselves um, some flooring. I like using the kind of wooden floor pieces. Let's do something like this. We'll give them like three and then we'll do like something like that. By 10 by 20. Oh, beautiful. So by 10, 23 by 10. Like so is the first one. We'll get the other one in there. Maybe slightly different color. 23 by 10 over here. That's going to be cool. There we go. So these are going to be like our shops um, and, and stuff. You can squeeze something in here as well, I think. Okay, how are we going with the money? Oh, money's good. Um, let's get a little bit more dry. Then we'll open up this one. And then uh, definitely we'll finish off the work that we're doing in the terminal over here. And then the next episode will be our major expansion um, over here. So hopefully we'll have pl plenty of money to do that. Now, let's quickly get these shops and things in place. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Uh, shop over there. We'll, uh, we'll put the, uh, put the guy all the way at the back over here. We'll get some, some fancy stuff in here. Can we do some mediums? Oh, those aren't mediums. Can we do some mediums? Mediums aren't going to work. So we'll get some of these guys, um, to kind of run along the wall here we'll do the very same thing over there to just close it off just a tad at this very location then we'll go for some of the big ones we'll see if we can do it. oh man a few big ones in the center like that's going to be really cool we're going to grab a couple of mediums if we do a couple of mediums like this oh yeah that's going to be cool as well i like that idea and then we'll just do more of these smaller ones and i think we just continue to run it Run it along the edges here, but with a little bit of a gap in between. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be fine. Uh, something like this. Like that, and like that. There we go. That's a pretty decent uh, look and feel. We'll sign a contract for this guy. Oh, we can get some of the nice big ones. Uh, can we get a five-star? We can. I think that's going to give us a lot of money. Get the five-star guys in there. Now, let's get the uh, restaurant in place. I will go a... What is this? Something funny going on over there. Anyway, I'll do that. And where's my... Uh, see, I hate this. No idea. And then I just switch that off and... Restaurant. Okay, good. Now, for the restaurant, things are a little... Works a little differently. And I've done the others pretty basic standard stuff. If we go downstairs, I'll show you. I've done the others pretty basic layouts. Ooh, that is nice and busy over here. I do like that. Hopefully we're making tons of money. Ooh, it does look pretty good. We'll go upstairs. But what I'll do, I'll do like a little bit of a center console in this, this time around. And what we'll do is we'll edge it towards this side so that when people come in, there's a lot of seating on the other side. Um, but I will make do with going all the way around. So let's uh, get the let's get the basics in here. We'll get the large guy. So we're going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do something like that. 
nice and central. Uh, oops, wrong way around. Let's uh, swap it. Uh, nice and central. There we go. That's good. And now we'll get some cooking stations and some stoves and some some display fridges. So let's get some couple of display fridges over here. We'll get um, a cooking station towards the back, I would think. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be fine. Do a couple of cooking stations over here. Can we? Oh man, we'll get some of this stuff in there. Yeah, that's awesome. Anything else that we can put in here? Maybe something like this or like that. Um, some counter counter space there. Ooh, that's not right. We need to. Is that okay? Feels so weird. We can't rotate it though. There we go. Looks looks to be okay right there. Um, let's get some more display fridges. I think. Something like that, something like this, something like this. Get some more over here. Like that and um, so like that. I think all of that's gonna be fine. That's all you actually need to have a look at. And now let's find some tables and chairs and things like that. So one of the things we can do, uh, ooh, and I'll quickly gra go ahead, grab some windows over here. So if we say, once you're through security, you start seeing some windows. Uh, not into the bathroom though, and into there, maybe not. So let's just get some mediums to kind of finish it off, finish off the job at the back over there. That's gonna be pretty cool, I like that. Okay, now, we need a couple of, what, what can we, what can we get? Can we go something like this? We need cooking stations, three, armchairs, plants, tables. So we can actually go ahead and get this. Can we get that one? Display fridges, we, oh, we've got it. Well, let's go ahead and get that one then. Wine and cheese. We'll get wine and cheese, and what we'll do is we'll also just grab a few, a few tables and chairs. Uh, ooh, one of the things that I wanted to grab was maybe this. Okay, so a little thing like that. Then we'll go and get ourselves a bit of a chair, something like this, and we'll get that kind of setup over there. So there's a little bit of a, you can view out that side. Um, I also want us to get something. Yeah, something like that's gonna be awesome. We'll get some fancy armchairs in here. Nope. Fill it up with some spots to sit down. Uh, the last thing we're going to need is a little bit of plants. Can we grab, can we grab the real big ones and kind of place it? Oh, I like that idea. Do a little of this. I like that. Just going to have to kind of edge it a little bit. And if we do it nice and central over here, we can do pretty much do a similar thing right over here. I like it. I like that. That's pretty good. Now, I also would like us to uh, maybe get a couple of other plants over here just close that off so it looks a little bit more uh, more good more good uh, so we'll do a few bits and pieces like this so just kind of um, kind of closes it out off a little bit what I'll do is I'll move that one over there instead there we go so that kind of looks really good it's obviously a little light and it's not working at the moment but that should help us out a little bit so this area is is used a little bit better one of the things that i wanted to do is get rid of these guys we'll get some new ones and i'm going to put a walk thing or two in here so at least for some of these sections i would like to put some walk, walking things in there so get to the walker lighters uh medium is a bit too long it seems not going to work so let's go ahead and get the smaller ones what is our direction of travel? That is our direction of travel. So once you're clear over there, we'll get one uh, one walker lighter, say, up there. That should be good. Then we'll get them, get you guys to kind of walk in through there. Hmm. Now, the question is, is that maybe a little too close? Should we not uh, run it in nice and central over here, maybe? So if we do something like this, and something like that, and something like that, let's uh, trim it back a little. 
Let's do this. Trim it back. Put it about four out that way and about four out that way. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It does block these areas off a little bit, so I'm not too fond of it. But it does give you plenty of room to kind of get through. Um, hopefully they will start pathing um, along these things now. What I can also do is, is add another one up here and we'll kind of finish that area off a little bit. Uh, not the mediums, it's going to be going to have to be the short ones. Uh, wrong button. Um, and that's not quite going to work, is it? Yeah, no, that's not going to work. You gotta, guys going to have to walk that little distance over there. What we can, however, do is get a little bit more of the windows in, in place over here. It looks a little nicer. Something like that. Finish it off a little. This area was supposed to continue, really isn't required. We can actually stop it off over there, but I'm not too sure that uh, will serve much of a purpose. How's our money? Oh, look at that money. That's really good money. Now let's buy the other one. So now we're in a really good position to start working um, on this in our next episode. So let's quickly see if there's a few other things we need to finish off. We've got a bathroom over here. I'm not too comfortable with the size of that bathroom. So potentially what we'll do is we'll add another bathroom over here. There's plenty of space in this little section here for us to add another bathroom. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. Something like this, so that we're four wide on... No, don't go in there. There we go. Close that off. Uh, we'll do a little something like this. We'll put a couple of doors in. There we go. There we go. Get that nice and sorted out. We need um, some bathroom tiles in here. Now we'll just set this up as a bathroom or two. Bathroom there, bathroom there. Get a couple of these, one, two, three, four, and a few of those. One, two, three. And some hand dryers. Okay, this is gonna be male. Everybody go. Over here we're gonna grab and do the same thing. All the way around there, nice, and we'll get the other bits and pieces, we'll get the hand dryers in there. And this is going to be female, everybody, and open. So now we've got a bathroom over there as well. So uh, should be pretty good. This area still looks a little uh, empty to me. And uh, oh, the idea is that we probably need a few more seats for our people. So let's uh, go ahead and add some of that. We'll do exactly the same thing. Uh, is that too close? It's way too close. Let's uh, move that a little. There we go. And I'll open up some windows over here as well so people can actually go out there and see it. Uh, I think we're just gonna do this. That looks really cool. So that's gonna help. We'll put some vending machines in over here. There's some vending machines over there though. So that's okay, let's get some windows up here. The real big ones so you can go and spot the planes if you wanted to. Uh, we'll just run them all the way through there. That should be pretty, pretty decent. And what was our flooring like over here? What are we doing? What kind of flooring did we have? No, that's not that one. It's this one, yep. Okay, there we go, finish that off. There we go, so now look at that. Uh, a couple of plants and bins maybe. Let's uh, grab a couple of bins, one over there. Maybe one in here as you, well, as you enter these things. Could be useful, we'll put one on that side instead. There we go, that's pretty good. We'll put some bins um, in a few spots over here. There's a bin over there, that's okay. Now, uh, some plants. What did you, uh, the big ones really make it kind of look a little nicer. So I'm kind of tempted to just run a couple of big plants in there. Um, it will actually work quite well to just kind of continue running them along some of these sections. Something like this looks really nice like that. That's, that's good. That's good. So it's only really one direction of walking over here so that you can get to your your uh, your place a little quicker. We're making tons of money. Really, now it's going to work really well for us if we continue this. 
Um, this side is also a little plain. Let's add some more plants on that side too. We'll, uh, we'll not fill it up with a lot of other stuff, but we'll uh, try and get some plants in here just so it looks a little better. Um, but we will um, keep the space available so we can use it for something else if we should want to. Uh, wanted to put in a little bit of wall over here maybe. To close off that, uh, that, that piece. That's good. And let's get some windows in up here also. Uh, we'll do the nice big ones and we'll kind of stretch them. Yeah, that's going to be... Something like that, that's okay. It's going to be, be okay. Now, let's go just finish off the kind of marbleized flooring over here. Finish that off, nice. Okay, how's, how are we doing outside? Oh, we need some lighting. Um, I'll spend another minute or so just putting... Uh, no, I'm not going to put the lighting in here because I'm going to redo this thing outside. So that's going to be it, I think. So that will be the end of Terminal 2. There is this area over here, and I'm not too sure. Maybe this is additional baggage claim? Maybe that's additional baggage claim. We can certainly put in Piltra and add another one and just expand this area. Yeah, maybe that is the case. I think we're, we're done on food and drink and all of these kind of things. This area works really well. Everything is pretty good. Everybody should be really happy with us, 100% on all of them. Um, we're not filling up our capacity just yet, but we have finished off all of the research, I believe. Okay, let's quickly talk about what we're going to send our... I don't think there's anything else to be researched. Okay, so let's uh, remove some of our administrators from doing that job that it's not doing anymore. And what are we going to do? Project time, not an issue. Passenger satisfaction boost may be a good idea. Staff productivity boost may be a good idea. Marketing, what does marketing actually do? 5% increase in passenger spending at food and shop. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's get a couple of people to do that. Uh, and then staff productivity boost. 8% increased staff skill. I think that's going to be a good one. It's passenger satisfaction is not the, not necessarily where I would like to go with this. Now, repair cost, and construction, increased construction speed, salary cost reduction, um, upkeep cost reduction. So we're going to spend a little bit on both of these. And over here, high security alert, airline relations, 5% uh, increase in airline satisfaction, 5% reduced risk of security incidents, supplier discount, that would be pretty good, and emergency prevention work, aircraft emergency incidents. So I'm thinking supplier discount is one of them, and airline relations, well, high security alert, high security alert, there we go. So now we've uh, reassigned our administrators and hopefully that'll uh, give us more tremendous savings. And that puts us in a position where we can now start really planning out what we're going to do with the rest of this. And whether we do um, the runway um, like this one, I, I can't remember the runway codes, or whether we do it like that. Kind of east to west if you think of the top is north, right? or then north-south on this side. I'm kind of tempted to, to run it like this, but if we do it like that, we may have a slightly more interesting potential shape with some stuff and drop-offs and things like that. So I'm I'm a little, yeah, yeah. Uh, alternatively, we could do a little, I'm, I'm kind of keen to do a little slither of, of things, maybe do a double terminal um, off of a single, uh, but it's not really going to work to do it that way. Uh, unless we plan it that way, to do a terminal for each one of our... Ooh, yeah, that could be something interesting over here. I'm just thinking. So if we do piers, and we have a separated pier and terminal, two L shapes, kind of running next to each other over here in the communal area, and then towards their two piers, something like that, maybe that could be quite interesting. Then we can have a dedicated one for, like, Air Canada flights, and we can have a dedicated one for uh, all other internationals. Actually... Something like that, where we do a pretty sizable terminal building like this, and it's got a pier out there, a pier down there, and a pier down there. And then in that case, we probably want the runway to be up here instead, um, so that they can go around this way. And we'll see. Maybe we can add a little extra area for general aviation in here at the end, because I don't think this runway is very busy, but I do think this one is going to be really, really busy. Okay, well, there's some good ideas right over there. I am quite keen to see we uh, us progress into that. So please remember to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this series, and if you continue to enjoy this series, leave your comments down below. What do you think of our plans? What do you think of our terminal? Do you have an idea for us to do something in here? 
Um, other than maybe the baggage bay, what else can we potentially do in there? Not, not too sure, not too sure. Do you have some ideas? Put them down in the comments or come and join us on the Discord um, and, and we'll discuss it over there uh, in a little bit more detail. Uh, and another one thing to remember, if you are enjoying the series and you would like to pick up this game and you would like to support the channel, there is a link um, coming up on the screen right now to uh, the my Humble Bundle affiliate link where you can actually pick this up and then support the channel at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.